Hello Virgo and welcome to your 1212 portal reading which is beginning from the 12th of December until the 18th uh, which is it is the 13th today so apparently I'm covering for yesterday as well but anyhow um, we're going to look at some current energy some things you might not be experiencing and some guidance from spirit as well as a galactic collective and uh, as always yeah please take what resonates and discard the rest and we are going to, for you Virgo, just pull some cards for your current energy. Okay, Nine of Wands, Chariot and Page of Wands. For things you may not be aware of, we have the Devil, Two of Cups and a Tower. Okay, Virgo, this looks interesting. For your Spirit Guidance, we have Three of Cups. The Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Okay. We're going to be doing some clarifying here too, I think, today. Get my clarifying deck ready. So, let's hold the first three up here. So, in your uh, current energy, some, that some things you might be experiencing currently is that... Um, You're kind of, um, you're kind of, this is kind of like a current of county boundary. So this is like you've been um, working quite hard and ticking all the boxes, um, but perhaps not, um, not enough time for you personally here. It's like you've been ticking everyone else's boxes, okay? Um... And on the other side here, we have the Page of Wands, who is, I believe, you know, this is you here. Um, and you are contemplating a new, a something for yourself. You're going to be doing something for yourself here. That's what you're looking at here, the wand. And it might be something that you're a little bit new to, and you might be looking to perhaps develop your ability or your skill in this particular thing, whatever that is and even develop your interest um, and uh, yeah, you're, um, you're developing your passion in it maybe and um, so the interesting thing is that in order to get from here to here um, you're going to need to create some boundaries for yourself so that you're not always in this of ticking other people's boxes ticking everyone's boxes but your own um, so you're going to be um, moving out of that phase of doing that, but you might be um, still ticking some of those boxes. But obviously, if you take a few of these wands off of here, and if we take these to mean things that you're doing for other people, or work or whatever, then you make some of those for yourself and some of them for others. Like quite possibly at the moment they could be all for other people so let's um in the road that you may not be aware of we have um <clears throat> that yes this um this thing about you creating some boundaries for yourself so that you can embark on something for yourself is actually a part of your spiritual growth so this is your higher self here and it's a healing thing to help you bring into um bring into better harmonious connection your divine masculine and, and divine feminine aspects because if you just keep running around ticking everyone else's boxes you're not going to have a harmonious a relationship with yourself and your life is not going to be as happy and as fulfilling as if you can do something that does um truly bring you joy and it's a bit of a passion that you love to do you know, I'm a bit of a firm believer in that um, everyone has a right to some happiness in their lives. Um, <clears throat> now, so you may not be aware that this is part of your spiritual um, growth. The other thing you may not be aware of is that... Um, it's kind of like that, that um, 
the devil in our energy or what we've always been used to is what we're going to keep doing even if it's painful for us that's kind of the energy that keeps you in this okay and this type of hard work energy can also be conveniently fueled by various addictions such as you know um, drugs and alcohol you know like I, I don't know how common it is but there is a thing there where some people they work really really hard and then the only thing they can do to forget about it or to switch off from it is to literally take drugs and drink a lot of alcohol on the weekends which is kind of masquerading as having a good time and relaxing but in in, in another way it's an addiction um, so spirits just so there's a thing there that you may not be aware that staying in this is a kind of a it can be lower vibe and there's always room for improvement on that um, so obviously the improvement on this is going to be this which is the harmonious connection um, but sometimes people can move themselves with awareness from this to this but more often than not it takes some kind of um, impetus or event or realization or something that happens perhaps in the external world to prompt them to take a more harmonious approach to themselves I mean it could be a um, it could be even a uh, you know a health professional suggesting that you work less to decrease your stress loads it could be any number of things it could be that um, uh, you know that maybe you have to all of a sudden you need to move into state to assist someone who's close to you for whatever reason um, so you know all of a sudden you're not working you're doing something else um, I mean you can come up with it and it might even just be a shift in your own perception it might just be well you know what um, I'm a bit jack of this and um, I know it's not good for me but um, so I'm just going to basically um, shift myself out of that so this can be self-imposed I think that it's more common that it's an external event that brings you back down to earth and gives you a reality check on reality okay um, and the reality check let's call it that the reality check card is directly under the page of wands so this is you being more true and authentic to yourself it is a more harmonious reality um, for you and then um, in spirit guidance we have um, yeah even if you're giving up those hard things and you maybe you're giving up addictions you can still find ways to have a good time and it might just be sharing time with friends and family and you know you can still have a drink I mean we're not talking about alcoholism specifically here you know take what resonates but um, it's really just spirit saying don't forget about collaboration and sharing and even if you feel um, you know it's okay to ask for help and to get assistance um, because you have an idea of what you want to be doing but you might need support in order to get there um, you know like you might need um, you know this is you might need help with creating boundaries and even giving yourself permission to actually do this like people can have a lot of resistance that comes up with them they have this idea about oh I want to do that that's what I'm really passionate about and then they think about it and go oh but I can't really because of A, B and C and I really I probably yeah it's probably not really worth my time and D, E, F you know before you know it you talk yourself out of it and you're back to this um <clears throat> so spirits also uh it's a bit of a guidance here that you know if you if you keep looking at these cups and you don't turn around and look at this opportunity which is even in your vision it's like you have an idea of what that is if you don't follow your ideas or your gut feeling you're going to end up like this you know you're going to um you know you're kind of going to regret you know it's like turning your back on yourself these cards are actually come out like this so it's like if you don't turn and look there if you keep looking down here it's like you're turning your back 
on yourself here. Whereas if you picked at that, if you op unraveled your arms, opened to more possibilities and actually reached for something, you might even need help to be able to open your arms to something. You might need help or information to know what to reach for if you not already know. Um, but, you know, sometimes we do have to be, we have to treat ourselves like little children, like that are going to school for the first time. We have to treat ourselves with love and care, step by step, in order to um, move ourselves into something that's better for ourselves, which seems crazy, doesn't it? It seems crazy that we need to really... Uh, comfort ourselves to even give ourselves enough to give ourselves permission in order to do something that's really great for us I mean you wouldn't think that you'd have to twist your own arm to convince yourself to do something that's good for yourself but some of us have been so deeply conditioned to stay in this for decades and also to be in this for a long time um, that what we need is, is some help. We need to start identifying, turning around and looking at the cups, looking at the possibilities, you know, looking at new things, being open to um, and creating also that self-love to be able to move forward then with more strength, meaning, compassion for ourselves, more empowerment, more fulfilment, more happiness. You know, all this, all the good stuff. Um, because, I mean, I think this is why I like reading the tarot because um, I was even questioning myself this morning. I was like, what the F, they're just cards. But when I, every time I look at them, it's like they are little archetypes of, and with the way they are laid out, it can be... Um, it's like a little story of self-growth or personal development. It's kind of almost like every time. And I'm like, well, there are so many different combinations and permutations of that. And uh, it may only be that, you know, one thing that I've said that resonates with you that may help you. And, and that's worth it, you know, in my opinion. Um, and sometimes, you know, I've watched people do readings on, online as well on YouTube. And I've like, I've gone, well, you hadn't thought about things like that. And this is how we can get help, this is how we help each other, is by um, putting things in a different way, wording things differently to perhaps how we would ourselves, and then we go, oh, um, you know, that's that's why we're here to help ourselves, uh, to help each other, sorry, and to help ourselves, okay. Um, let's clarify the Three of Cups. I just like to see what type of help or just to see I'm pretty sure that's what that means there three of cups is clarified by yeah this is actually snap so basically the devil is above three of cups and it is clarified by this is clarifying the three of cups so it's literally saying that yes in order to get out of this uh, addiction energy which is like it's a self, it's it's a type of self-harm, self-restriction, self-entrapment, uh, um, self, I guess you could call it slavery. It's like being slave to something that's not actually positively good for our souls. Okay, the way out of that is to um, accept help or to find people who you vibe with that are on a similar journey to you who are looking to be free of, of these vibrations here. This is like um, feeling trapped and not in a pleasant situation. This is kind of like being um, tied to something. But even this um, attachment here is an illusion because these people can actually get themselves out of this um, here. But because they are they are addicted, they are there on their of their own volition. They are voluntarily participating in that. Okay. Um, now, I'm not saying you've done really bad things. What I'm saying is that the the, the devil can represent um, hard work, perseverance and tenacity. 
okay because there are positives and negatives for each uh, archetypal image here um, but I believe because you're moving from this into this uh, and and this that you are letting go of of something that's holding you there and it's probably this you're probably you're holding yourself there at the moment let's clarify the um let's clarify about that yeah let's clarify the devil actually let's clarify that little old devil like i say it's one big goat which is the capricorn energy um okay the devil was clarified by the emperor yeah so that old devil has a lot of power unfortunately that's what that's saying and yeah it's like it's it's having power over you no one wants to be lorded over really let's clarify the nine of wands let's clarify what it is that the devil is lording over exactly um, I'm pretty sure it's a tendency to possibly even overwork. Clarifying the Nine of Wands. It's clarified by the, that was like the magician. Yeah. So that's awesome because it means that you actually have potential to shift from this to anything else. The magician has all of the other tools, all the other suits. So he has cups, swords, pentacles, and wands. The magician, this is a female magician. But, um, so you always have potential to shift into something else. There's always potential for that. Let's clarify the two of cups. And also the magician is the power to manifest. Um, which means the power to go from thinking about something to bringing it through into material reality reality two of cups spirit let's clarify that one please two of cups is clarified by <coughs> the six of swords so the six of swords is actually moving from a discordant energy into a more harmonious energy okay and there's also a um, kind of aspect of play to this one as well but this is definitely moving into a more harmonious um, energy here is what that means so that is sort of confirming that it's not actually about a relationship it's about a, um, a more harmonious energy um, you know <laughs> yeah it's almost like your it's like your ego and your higher self here like your higher self is needs to be steering the ego here so the higher self is the one that's uh, and here we have straight above that we have a chariot it's literally like this guy here is like the higher self and this is the ego and look can you see the similarities like this is unbelievable he's even blonde like this guy this guy's got sphinxes on his chariot. This one on his chariot, he's got a seal. So he's seal strapped to his little timber raft there, or whatever it is. So it's like, yeah, this is about this is about empowerment. It's about steering your own steering your own gig, right? Steering your own stuff, your own life. Let's clarify the tower. Oh my god, we're up to nineteen minutes. How did that happen? Sorry, Virgo. Okay, the tower. So, this is the Knight of Cups. So, this is about through some sort of um, expression or creativity or um, some kind of communication, or even through feelings too. There might be some feelings that come up for you that um, <coughs> prompt this change <coughs> that you're looking for. Um, yeah, and spirit kind of this is you kind of spirit saying there is an opportunity there for you to. Um, I think we should just clarify that. Let's clarify the um, yeah. Let's clarify the nine of swords actually. 
the nine of swords nine of swords it's clarified by the ace of wands okay which is a new spiritual beginning okay so that means that spiritually you're going to be taking look at looking at this spiritual um this thing that you really want to do and you know what this is the wand here you're holding your wand this is the wand and it's glowing even more brightly in the in the spirit guidance here it will be it will become very apparent to you what that is let's quickly clarify four of cups Yeah, clarified by the four of pentacles. So these are two fours, which is about stability, foundation. Okay, so this is about self-care. So you're really going to have to look after yourself and not just look at the three cups, but really add that fourth one in, you know, as to really help you to... Um, and I really love how this four of pentacles because the four of pentacles is a very earthy energy as well. So it's going to be important for you to be grounded in this too. And by that I mean going out in nature um, regularly to just kind of get in touch with what's going on. So it's just spirit just to help with um, helping Virgo to really find out what it is that they are wanting to... Um, do here is we really stepping into oh unconditional love gorgeous arcturus energy i always love the arcturus energy number seven this reading's a bit long sorry folks what is unconditional love human words cannot adequately define it as its true nature lies beyond human limitation however imagine being seen by the universe for who you are the darkness and the light and being infinitely loved no matter what the arcturus energy is in total balance and loves and supports humanity in this way it embraces our light and dark sides totally now it is time to ask yourself these questions am i capable of giving unconditional love am i capable of receiving it fully if the answer is no find out why not those answers will reveal your next spiritual lesson so this is about loving yourself unconditionally and I'm, I'm gathering by this that it could be that you've always this is this could be a card of actually conditional um, living conditionally which means that you will only approve of yourself on the condition that you work yourself to the bone or that you tick all these boxes and stuff but it's now, this This is actually the unconditional love. It's like no matter what this is for you, this passion, you're going to have to, you're not going to have to, but it's going to be a good idea for you to learn to give yourself some of this so that you can move into this. Even if it means, um, you know, cutting back on something else or decreasing your involvement with other things and in terms of also de- not being so involved in the demands of others i'm not saying to cut that out completely okay it just means instead of this being you know eight or nine ones behind you you've only got maybe three of three or four of other people and then you've got the other half the time for yourself okay that, that you can then go okay i'm going to look at my one now that didn't sound right um that i'm going to consider my passions and my um what, my creativity and what i want to do personally for myself let's um look at let's get some earthy stuff happening in here we're going to do angels and ancestors so this um my card gray thank you card gray for this deck so this is about coming into harmonious some more harmonious connection with yourself hey? and kind of trying to um uh Trying to not work so hard, but also trying to not give yourself a hard time about not working so hard, if I can say that. Um, which is, you know, it's difficult if people around you are judging you, but if you buy into their judgments and start believing all of their judgments, then when you keep doing that, it's kind of going to lead to you feeling a little bit like that trapped in an unpleasant situation 
So this is the card of boundaries, the card of, even though he's in a chariot, this is actually a card of um, freedom and empowerment as well. Because you might actually have to create some boundaries. Uh, maybe that's what's going to come up through the cards. And you've got to love yourself unconditionally enough to be able to do that for yourself. Instead of being subject to the conditions of everyone else. And believe me, I know what that feels like. Uh, white witch, be the light. Mm -hmm. Yep, so remember, remember <coughs> that you are a light that needs to be out from under the bed and shining. Out from inside the closet. <sighs> Wise one, grow within your current situation. Yep. That could be done. Like I said, there's just some tweakings that you could possibly do. Um, here we have night. Be brave and honest. Yeah. Be honest with yourself and be brave enough to stand up to this guy. Which might be a person or it might be just um, a part of yourself. It might be an inner saboteur. that keeps sabotaging. We, we're all guilty of sabotaging our own efforts and our own wishes and things, okay. Um, shield maiden, make plans and focus. However, if we plan and focus, we can move away from the self-sabotage patterns. Make plans and focus. Yes, awesome, this guy here is focusing on his passion, his activity, his creativity, what he's going to do next, even maybe a spiritual thing he's going to be doing. Um, this is Hunter, track down your fears and desires. Yep, so we have, you know, the devil might be the fears, so you know, the, you could have um, fears connected to this, um, this struggle that you're going through, but you also have wishes that you would like to work on for yourself. Here we go. This is awesome. Trust in high forces, shaman. Wow, that is awesome. And this is here, the spiritual wand. Okay, this is your, your shining light that you're going to be moving towards. Shaman, cool. And here we have, bask in joy and light. That's what you want. You want to bask in the joy and light of this. And I think we're going to end that reading there. Um, Virgo. <laughs> Sorry, a mental blank. I forgot I was doing the reading for, which is really bad. Um, I'm wishing you a great portal energy and all the best with your coming into harmonization with your higher self and your soul, um, which I feel a lot of us are doing in this portal energy at the moment. Um, and uh, have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.